is coastal, you know, beachy, bright blues, and I also do um, alcohol ink coasters. Um, I've got a few prints and then frames and prints as well. because I'm working with sunlight and that's what the impressionistic artist did. I come from New Hampshire. I come down here for two, three, four months sometimes and do a lot of shows and I love Alabama. This is the first time in Alabama and I'm happy. This community is very friendly, very friendly and it's a nice community. sponsored by the Goodwill um, Optimist Club and we're Goodwill Ambassadors of the Eastern Shore and through our dresses we embrace our floral heritage of the dogwood flower and the artistic interpretation of how our Eastern Shore is so artistically rich with the Arts and Crafts Festival. So the dogwood flower, we used to have tons of dogwood trees all over the Eastern Shore. Um, unfortunately, in like the late 70s, a blight came through and took them out, um, which is so sad. There's still some, you can still find some though here and there. Um, but basically, that flower, we, you know, it's represented all over our dress, and we're supposed to kind of look like a big dogwood flower, a big colorful flower. But um, it's also just kind of a combination of our floral heritage with the artistic heritage of the community. I mean, this community was founded by artists. epoxy resin and um, I just have a bunch of colored pigments and mica powders and glitters and just whatever I can find mix it in the resin and pretty much just pour it out on the painting do it in layers to kind of create that depth and use my heat gun to kind of blow the white around to give it a resemblance of a wave all my stuff is very beachy oriented that's kind of my inspiration so these are probably my newest product I started with the paintings and then kind of moved into the serving boards just because they're a fun little handheld item and they're a good gift item and um, yeah they're pretty functional then I started doing the bigger ones because a lot of people like that are doing parties and I've noticed a lot of people that have condos down at the beach they like to do the big spreads in their condos and it just kind of fits well so State Park in West Lafayette, Indiana. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I was just there with my dog walking around, and that tree caught my eye. The name of my collection is Hairdo. Hairdo, playing off the word hair, but it's her do. And the do represents distinguished eclectic women, the do. Mm -hmm. So it's one of a one of a kind thing that I just enjoy. The hair is basically made out of wire and clay and it's just a mixed media, a collage of different things that I put together uh, spontaneously. There's no rhyme or reason. It just happens. But it's all about the woman. I love 
nature and wildlife and as a Christian I just am amazed by what the Creator does and the work that the Creator does and so I have a wonderful opportunity to see that and I want people other people to behold the wonder too I want them to get to, I want to share it you know it's so good and so what I do is I take these images and I process them and I print them on metals acrylics canvases and just some G clay printing and prepare them and I pray that they're a blessing to other people and to their homes. So actually I have been in ministry for over 30 years and I have retired and moved here and a neat thing is I had really prayed about what I was supposed to do this next season and the Lord just opened this door that I never expected taking something that was a desire in my heart something I enjoyed and loved and may, gave me an, an, another avenue to not only bless him, but to bless others and to get to know others and to declare his glory, you know, it just, I can't, I, I can't tell you what a blessing that's been to me.